Hey pop stars, what's up? It's me, Cake Pop Clara, and today I am doing a Shy Violet inspired makeup tutorial. So if you love the color purple, lilac, lavender, this is the makeup you're going to want to do. This is a character from Rainbow Bright. She's kind of the shy, nerdy character. I did a collaboration with many other cool individuals who also did their own renditions. I've been into just using concealer to cover up some redness and acne. I just use a NYX lipstick to do my eyebrows with an angled brush and then I'm going in with some pink eyeliner to create a gradient effect. I top it off with some eyeshadow to kind of set the liquid in place and make sure it stays all day. I'm using my Juvia's Place palette and using this really pretty shiny iridescent purple shade all over the lid. Then I go in with a lighter pink shade on the inner corner and brush it out a little bit under my eyeball. I take a kind of angled fluffy brush and take a darker purple and swipe it all over my crease. Then I'm gonna wanna take a fluffy brush and kind of swoop a lighter shade out this creates a really dimensional effect and your eyeshadow is going to be popping if you just use like three or four colors. It's going to be really beautiful and I really like how it turned out with this look. So I hope you try it out. The palette I'm using is the Morph palette and it has a lot of really good shades that have a lot of payoff. I obviously just want to take a light shade and put it on my brow bone. I just started tight lining my upper eyelid and I'm loving it. I think it creates a really nice subtle effect and it makes your mascara look better too. So I would recommend it. It's kind of weird getting used to, but it's kind of cool looking. I just kind of did a light bit of eyeliner on the inner eye and then gradually made it thicker. It's kind of hard to get it even and even I messed it up here a bit. So don't be too hard on yourself because you can always fix it up by applying some more eyeshadow on top after you clean it up. Don't forget to grab your makeup out of your box that you're filming on top of. I am actually just using some powder on top of the concealer to kind of make me look less oily. I don't know. I'm going with some really hot pink eyeshadow for blush. I like to be versatile with my makeup products. I'm also using some lipstick because I didn't think it was blushy enough for this look. I keep going back in because I just love it so much. Just make sure you blend it out really well and you'll be okay with that. For my lipstick, I'm using this Katie Cat Matte stuff. I don't even know. It's really nice shade of purple though. Um, I like to kind of blend it out with some concealer to make a gradient effect and then top the whole thing off with some lip gloss after I finish blending. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get right, but I think it has a really cool effect in the end. Isn't that pretty? Sparkly babes, who's with me? I bought an eyelash curler just for this to apply a little bit of false lashes. I think it's kind of fun. It was not as easy as I make it look on camera right now. I'm like, oop, I'm done. So this is how my final look turned out. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. In the comments, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna gain the confidence to wear the fashion that you love, because that's seriously what I am all about here. Thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every week, so I will see you again really soon. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye, pop stars.